Hey comic creators, uh, so real quick today I'm going to go over cropping and zooming within iMovie. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this entire clip here. So key thing to note that this, whatever I do on the cropping, since I have this whole clip selected, it's going to affect the entirety clip. So hover your mouse over this crop box here, click that, and then you've got your cropping options that drop down below. And whatever I edit here, since I have this clip selected, it'll only affect this clip. So you have your crop to fill option, you have your Ken Burns, which is the zoom in effect over time. Um, you'll see it as a start and an end point. Crop to fill just adjusts, adjusts the crop as a whole. So if I move these little boxes down once I select crop to fill and I can move the box around by dragging my mouse, clicking down and dragging the mouse, click the check mark. Now you have the, your entire clip cropped for that section. Um, and that's how that uh, crop to fill works. There's no movement there. If you want to reverse it, just click the box again and click reset. Now that's reversed. And um, if you, let's say you only wanted to zoom in on a certain section of the clip, all you would have to do is move your cursor over where you want the zoom in to start. And then you click there and you would actually split the clip there. And then once you split that clip, wherever you want the zoom to end, you just move your cursor over to where you want the zoom to end. And you just select there and split the clip. Um, and let's say we wanted to do like the Ken Burns effect where it has a starting point and an end point. So click on the cropping box, you have your uh, Ken Burns, and you'll see it has the starting point, which is the entirety, and then the end point. So if you click in the center, you should click right to the end point, and then you can adjust what the end point is just like you did in the crop to fill section. So if I wanted it to zoom in over time, that's how it's going to zoom in. It's going to zoom in right to my face, click check mark. So when you play the clip, and it starts, you'll see this slow zoom. Now, the key to understand here, is, the key thing to understand is that the longer the clip, the slower the zoom. So if you want that slow zoom in effect, then you make the clip longer. If you want the shorter zoom in effect, like you want it to be faster, or you want it to zoom in real fast, you have to split the clip to allow for that, because Ken Burns only does the start and end point. So on this next clip here, I'll make it a little bit faster, I'll split the clip a little bit later and then when I go in on this next clip and I go click on the cropping tool again and I do the Ken Burns effect and then I adjust the, the end point to where I zoom the end point in again because all you do is start and end points click check mark now this one plays a lot uh, a lot faster still kind of slow you know but you see you can see the significant speed increase there now if you wanted the really fast clip then you got to clip your you got to split your clip down to really small so right so now i zoomed in i'm going to split this down to really really small um and now when i do the ken burns effect here um it's going to zoom in like really really fast and this might be a little bit too fast but you'll just to give you an idea check mark and then i play and it just, I mean, it just zooms, zoom, there you go. And that's how you do that. And that's how you make like those really fast and really slow zoom in movements is using those Ken Burn tools. All right, that was just a quick tutorial on how to do the zoom effects with an iMovie. I hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, if this did help you, please like, subscribe, and share the video. It helps with the algorithm. I really appreciate that. And I will talk to you guys later.